Evening, welcome back. I'm Kevin McNulty. One of the best girls basketball games of the year took place tonight in Ishpeming. It was the Hematites hosting the Bark River Harris Broncos for a battle between a pair of teams with just two combined losses on the season. Bark River ranked second in divisions one through three. Ishpeming number one in D4. Starting things off in the first quarter, Lauren Zawada all the way to the hole for the Broncos. And there's three the old fashioned way. Zawada's free throw makes it a nine. 9-9 game. Second quarter now, Maya Hemmer picks Zawada's pocket. The sophomore goes coast to coast for two. Hematites take a four-point lead. Let's jump to the fourth now. Ishpeming trying to extend its lead, and Janessa Eagle can help with that. Pulls up from the elbow, giving her team a 47-36 lead. Five minutes to play, but wait, there's more in the tank for Bark River. Zawada to Mackenzie Hoffmeyer at the top of the key. That's through. Broncos deficit down to just two. Less than a minute to go. Zawada with the steal. She's fouled. A chance to knock things at 52. Good on the first one. Now, if the second one falls, we're tied. But off the mark. Jenna Mackey knocks down her free chances on the other end. And then a turnover on the final play of the game seals it for Ishbuing. The Hematites hang on to improve to 20 and 1 on the year. Here's their head coach, Ryan Riekel. Uh, Bark River didn't quit. All right, we got loose with the ball down the stretch there, but. You know, we made some big free throws. Uh, that's what's kind of what you need in March. And, uh, you know, as part of the girls with some of the resiliency skills. And we won it on the defensive end in that last couple of minutes. And uh, proud of the effort. A uh, lot of things we can fix. But, you know, it, we're right there. And this is a, a game that got us better. The Hematites will close out the regular season Thursday at Houghton. And also in girls basketball this evening, we'll go to Marquette for senior night, where the Sentinels hosted the Escanaba Eskimos on the hardwood. First quarter, Eskimos out in transition. Kira Mackey, who else? All the way to the rim or even 2-2. Two -two. Marquette with the answer in transition. Lexi LaHillier inside to Kylie Elmblad. She gets it to fall. She had 28 on the night and Marquette leads 10-4. More Eskimos now. Mackey uses the screen and lets it fly. She had 25 herself. It's 18-12. Marquette still leads. Sentinels. Going inside all night, and it worked. Aubrey Blackburn to Elmbled. Count it. It's 20 to 14. They let it 26-22 at halftime, and Marquette holds on, taking the 53-49 win on senior night. And elsewhere in girls basketball, Menominee over Carney Nato, 57-39, and Wakefield Marinisco over Dollar Bay, 57-41. Also in girls basketball, Engadine over Rapid River, 33-29. And Gladstone, a big 30-point win over Gwynn, 63-33. Moving ahead, West Iron County, a six-point win over Hancock. Final score there, 35-29. And Iron Mountain wins it over Calumet, 64-55. Also in girls basketball, Kingsford over North Dickinson by 12, 43 31, your final score, and Lake Linden Hubble keeps it rolling. Still just one loss on the year for the Lakes. They beat Lawn 78-41. More girls basketball. Munising over Newberry, 48-26. And Nagani wins big over Manistique, 65-17. More girls basketball. Barriga over Ontonagon, 56-21. And Jeffers beats Chassel, 43-21 for the Jets. North Central over Forest Park tonight, 75-39. And Petoskey gets the win on the road over the Sioux, 35-25. And last one here for you in girls basketball as we wrap up the regular season. Houghton takes down Ewan Trout Creek. Final score, 60-36.